Hi, Eric here with Style With Knowledge. I'm a Prosper You stylist. This is Tanya. I'm gonna show you a look right now that I just love. It is six knots with a couple of French braids in the back. A lot of different ways to do this, but this is just so much fun. So we've prepped Tanya's hair just by doing a nice little blow dry with a paddle brush. Now, I think a little dry shampoo is absolutely fantastic. Give the hair a little bit more grit. So when you want a little bit more grit, just take and use a little dry shampoo in the hair. All right, we're gonna start off Tanya's updo by just combing this back and we're gonna go right in the middle. And all we're gonna do is go down the sides about to the top of the ear. Now, the thicker that your section is, the bigger your knots are gonna be. Put a little clip right there. I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side, right back to right just behind the ear area. So I'm just gonna comb all this together and put it into a big knot just so it's not in my way. All right, so we're gonna go to the top. Now, we're gonna slice that hair back and we've got a fairly good sized section here. Comb all this hair back and now we're ready for our figure eight knots. So palms are up, I've got the hair with my right hand, index finger and middle finger while I'm holding it with the left hand. All I'm gonna do is whirly bird this hair around so my palms are down, all I'm gonna do is walk around like this, I'm gonna grab the hair with my right hand now, index finger, middle finger, and I'm just gonna pull this hair right the way through and pull it forward until it makes a little knot. Okay, so here's our section. Palms up, whirly bird around, palms down. Walk this hair right the way around with the left hand. Put it between the index finger, the middle finger, and all you're gonna do is pull it through once again, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna move over to the other side and I'm gonna work at salon speed. We've got all of the knots done. We've got six knots here. And all I'm gonna do is comb through this just a little bit of the dry shampoo once again. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, but a little different. Palms up, but this time, instead of whirly burning the fingers around, I'm gonna reach my left hand over, I'm gonna grab the hair, I'm gonna walk it around to the front, and I'm gonna put it right between those two fingers. And all I'm gonna do is pull that through. As I pull it through, I'm gonna gently just give this a push, and it's gonna go forward. All right, we're gonna take our bobbies, and this is about one of the only times you're gonna see me actually open the bobby pins. And I open just to make sure that I clasp all that hair and I'm just gonna push it forward, put a lot of pins in. This hair that's left right here, I'm just gonna walk it over and I'm gonna put a pin right here. All I'm gonna do is go down like this and I'm gonna twist it over like this and tuck it in and just eliminate that. But I'd like to editorialize it just a little bit more. So let's move around our knots just a little bit and if we just unlock them like this and pull them out, you can see that we get a whole different profile and it just allows you to really customize and personalize this look and just spray really light. Let me say that in the back, you could do almost anything you want. That's up to you. Today, I'm gonna do two French braids and I'm gonna pancake these braids to show you what that looks like. Coming through here. Now, all I'm gonna do is take a horizontal diagonal section from here all the way over to the other side. I'm gonna feel the weight of both sides to make sure I've got two sides that are fairly even. Take all this hair, I'm gonna put a little clip to get it out of the way. So position the client's head to make it easy for you. I'm gonna take my left hand with this French braid and I'm just gonna stick it right through the hair just like this. Now what I'm gonna do now is take my right hand and I'm gonna pinch it with my thumb and index finger and just rotate my hand right around. So I have got the same amount of hair in my right hand, the same section between my thumb and my index finger, the index finger and the middle finger and the middle finger and my ring finger. Now what I'm gonna do now is go in and grab it again. And now you can see the sections starting to cross. We're gonna pick up sections from the outside edge and add them to the outside edge. So there's a section. I'm gonna add that to the outside edge. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pinch that hair right in the middle, twist this around just like this. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab another section and I'm gonna add it to this outside edge right here. All right, working that all the way down. Now once I get to the end, all we're gonna do here is braid this in a typical braid fashion. Okay, I'm just gonna put a clip to hold the hair right now, and I'm gonna take a little dry shampoo, and we're gonna spray this entire thing with dry shampoo. I'm gonna do this side at salon speed.
Now what we are going to do is pancake. So I just take that section and I'm just pulling it and you can see what happens as we pull the hair. It just pancakes it out. You can see why I like to have these kind of marry in with the bottom section there. So that looks like they are all joined together. Okay, pancake all the way out, all the way out. Love it, love it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join this section with this section. So I'm just gonna pin this in right here to make sure that this is seamless with this other section. And another pin just to make sure this is connected or seamless to this other section. If you want to, you can curl this hair, you could back comb it. You know, the choice is really up to you. And spray. So this is our six knots. Two French braids. We started right in the front with uh, the knots. We went to the back. We started with the bottom one first, and we just did a French braid. Then we did the top, and then we just blended them together right down through here. And I think she looks absolutely amazing. This is Style with Knowledge. Thanks for watching.
Hi, Prosper You Stylist, Eric here with Style With Knowledge. This is beautiful Tanya. I'm gonna show you how to do two French braids. Beautiful look, classic, commercial, editorial. It's just fun hair. It's good to know how to do. We're gonna start off with a section right over here. And I'm just gonna section this off about above the right eye and circular sections right back into the back. I want the emphasis to be over this shoulder right here, so I'm gonna have a lot more hair on the top and on the left side than I do on the right side. So I'm just gonna comb this hair up and get it out of the way. All right, so this is a classic French braid, and I think everybody knows how to do a French braid. I will just touch base with it one more time. Oftentimes when you do a French braid, you know, you're just gonna braid the whole thing. But sometimes it's really nice when you're doing this, and it's a lot more romantic if you leave little pieces out and then add them in later. So let's just take this section and let's just leave this out. When we French braid, we're just gonna stick our fingers in. This is my left hand. I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna grab that middle section of hair, rotate my hand around. I'm gonna go in and once again, grab this section of hair, twist it around. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding to the outside edge. And I've left this one out on purpose. I'm gonna go all the way down here, add to the outside edge and twist this one more time around with my fingers. I'm gonna add to the outside edge again, and we're just gonna take this section right here, and I'm gonna pick up this front section. I'm gonna comb that so it's nice and smooth. You can see with this, I can make this baggy, I can make it tight, I could really have some fun with it. Just, just kind of a nice little accent piece. All right, grab that piece, switch it around like this, and you're gonna pick up another section of hair, and all I'm gonna do now is just braid all the way down with the French braid. All right, now we are ready for the other side. Now when we braid the left side, we wanna keep the braid really high. So I wanna keep it more so towards the middle. So comb it smooth. You're gonna put your fingers in just like we do with a French braid. Rotate your fingers around. Rotate your fingers around. Again, add to the outside edge. And you're just going to continually move until you run out of hair. All the way down to the hairline is very important. Let's comb that section to make sure that's nice and smooth. Okay, so we've completed this side and we've completed the other side. So now we are ready to pancake the hair. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a little dry shampoo and spray the dry shampoo on it just to give the hair a little more grit. So pancaking this is just gonna make it just come to life. I mean, that's the real big difference. And again, you can do as much or as little as you like. I personally, you know, with thick hair like this and the color variation, I like a fairly heavy pancake. Okay, let's just throw that over a shoulder and let's just look at this. So far, so good. So there we have the right side. Now we're gonna do the left side. I'm just gonna push your head over like this and I'm just gonna start by just pulling these sections out like this. And all I'm gonna do is keep pulling these sections out so it's just really big, fun. We've got this really good. We're gonna pin these together, but before we do that, I'm just gonna take these two braids. You do not have to be exact on this, okay? I've got these sections right through here. I've grabbed it with my left hand. All I'm gonna do is take these sections right through here and I'm just gonna add them too. So I'm gonna take this section here, I'm gonna add it to the far side. I'm gonna take the middle section, I'm gonna add it to the middle, and I'm gonna take this section and add it to the far section. Now you're just gonna do a nice little braid together about once or twice like that. That is really good. I'm going to pin this in a little bit right through here and just kind of refine this shape just a little bit. So just taking our pins and just pushing our pins right in. All right, so I like this. I like these little bits of movement that we have through here. And I think we can take that movement and really make it very super sophisticated. And you just want a little spray to make that just a little stiffer. And with the hairpins, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're just gonna emphasize that section that much more. So take it, lift it up, and put a hairpin in. All right, and just keep repeating any time that you see that you've got that single section of hair. We're gonna take the spray and just spray really lightly. Make sure everything looks great. And I'm gonna give it another second or two. Then you can remove these pins and that hair is gonna stay right where you put it and you've got that nice little decorative shape. I love the way this looks. I like this little one. I'm just gonna relax this one a little bit more right through there just to make it look a little bit, uh, just a little bit different. Uh, I think we're gonna curl this. So I'm gonna take a curling iron and real fast, I'm just gonna curl this up. 
I think that just looks nice. Just a little movement at the ends. Now, just to ensure that this hair stays over this side of this shoulder, we're gonna take a couple of jumbo pins. And with these jumbo pins, we're just gonna take them and again, stick them in and slide them back. All right, once again, let's take a look, make sure everything is looking absolutely fantastic. All right, so Tanya has basically two French braids. You know, we went a little light on the right side, a little heavier on the left side, and when we, when we braided it, we got halfway down, we braided the two strands together. We pancaked everything out, which makes it look good. We used a lot of dry shampoo. The dry shampoo gives it that grit. And then we just went in on this side, and we simply put our large pins in through here to section that off so it looks a little bit more refined. So this is our style with knowledge and thanks for watching. She's ready to go out or do anything she wants to do tonight.
Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a Prosperview stylist. This is Tanya. What I want to do is show you a casual little fishtail braid. Now, probably all of you know how to do a fishtail braid by now. So the key to this is once we do the fishtail braid, we're going to take it and put it into a little chignon in the back. Uh, her hair has not been prepped very much at all. We've just put some dry shampoo in it. I'm just going to comb all the hair together and decide where I really want to start this fishtail braid. All right, so there we go. Just making sure the hair is smooth. And I'm just going to reach up here and I'm just going to take a circular section right around to the other side. And I'm going to start my fishtail braid right on the top. All right, so we're going to start about right here. You can see I've got a fairly big section. Now, when you do a fishtail braid, the cool thing about this is it looks so complicated and it's not. We're going to section the hair right down the center. So I'm just going to take a section right here in front of the ear and I'm just going to pull this. Now, when you add sections, you're going to add them to the opposite side on the inside. So I've sectioned this in the middle. I've got this hair between my thumb and index finger of my right hand. I'm just going to pass it over to my left side. So now I'm going to switch hands like this. I'm just going to grab a section from the other side and I'm going to do the same thing I just did. All right, so that's my basic pattern right there. So I'm going to pick up a section. I'm just going to add it over to this side. I'm going to switch hands. And I'm going to pick up another section and I'm just going to add it over to the opposite side. Now, what you want to do is just make sure that everything stays pretty tight. All right, once again, you're going to grab a section like this and all you're going to do is pass it over to the opposite side and you're going to grab another section like this and you're gonna pass it over to the opposite side. So let's just continue on, and I'm just gonna fast forward this into salon speed. Okay, so we're just about done here. We can't really braid that, that's just too small. So we're just gonna put a clamp on it for right now. So you can see that this is, you know, pretty commercial, but it's kind of cool. You can go through and deconstruct it ever so lightly. Now, crown's a little flat. So if we just go through and all we do is lift up the crown like that, and you can see we're automatically getting some height and fullness up there on the crown. Let's take a look at that, that looks pretty cool. It's so simple. And again, we could have made this as complicated as we want. Now, let's do something. Let's deconstruct this a little bit more through here. You don't want to go crazy unless it's a real bohemian kind of feeling. Then you can get it really wild and really messy and pull sections out. But this isn't. This is a little bit more classical and just a little bit more refined. Now, here are my options. Option one, I just leave it down. Put a rubber around the ends, it would be great. Option number two, it would be just to take it and all we'd do is just take this and wrap this around and just place this right here so we have a nice little uh, chignon. Option number three is we would twist this and do the same thing. I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna put the elastic on the ends of the hair, bend the hair at the ends like this so I can just completely get rid of the ends. So there's the elastic, I put it on and just capture the hair. I'm just gonna take one more elastic and I'm gonna put this on just like this and then I'm gonna double back and put that through so you've captured all that hair like this. So let's take this and let's just twist this like this Let's fold this underneath like this, and let's just walk around and look at what that would look like if we pinned it like that. So let's just take our large bobbies and pin this. And when you put the bobby pin, again, you're gonna just stick it in, weave it back and forth to make sure that you're capturing enough hair. Now let's just look at what this looks like. There we've got just a nice little chignon. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this just a little bit more. With these looks right here, we're gonna just take a large pair pin and you're just gonna section this off like that and one right there like this. First of all, I'm gonna use a little dry shampoo. And I'm gonna use just a little spray. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All I'm gonna do is section this hair off. Spray that really good. Make sure everything's looking good. Make sure you don't take those pins out until the hair is completely, completely dry. Take a look, use your mirror. Your mirror is your best friend. All right, let's take our pins out. And there you have it. This is a nice, easy, beautiful little fishtail braid. All right, well, that's my style with knowledge. This is Tanya. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another episode. Thank you.
Hi, Eric here, Prosper You Stylist. Welcome to Style with Knowledge. This is Tanya, and we're gonna show you just a very editorial, fun little look. It's called Shoe String Knots. If you can tie your shoe, you can do this. So let's start off right here in the top, and we're just gonna take a section right this way, and we're gonna take an equal section on the other side, and there we have it. Now, we're gonna start this right in the front. But one thing that I don't like to do is have a center part on this. So I'm gonna start a little further over. So there's my sections just like this. Now all I'm gonna do is tie a knot. I'm gonna reach over on the left side. I'm gonna grab it with my right hand and then I'm gonna pinch the hair together with my right hand, thumb and index finger. And all I'm gonna do is go in and tie this into a knot. Very cool, it's just one of those editorial looks that I just love. Now, if you can get your beautiful client to help you, I'm lucky enough that mine is gonna help me through this. It makes life a little easier. All right, take another section and we're just gonna slice that out, comb through it and go over to the other side, take another section there. So I've prepped her hair with lots of detailing creams and just things to make the hair a bit softer. Now we're gonna split it right in the middle and what are you gonna do? You're gonna reach over to the left side, grab it with your right hand and just tie this right in a knot. Now this time I'm gonna have her drop those ends down, hand her the two new ends. So I'm gonna take another section right here and take another section over on this side. I'm gonna comb these two sections together. I'm gonna split this in two like we've been doing, but this time I'm gonna take this section right here, the very first section, I'm gonna add it over here to this side. Now I'm gonna switch sides and I'm gonna take that very first section that we did, I'm gonna take it over and I'm just gonna pass it on to the left side. So comb through those sections and grab this section of hair and once again, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do the shoestring knot. I'm gonna have her drop that and I'm gonna hand her the new sections. Now I'm gonna turn her around so everybody can see on this side. And once we get to about to the ear, we're gonna pivot the sections around. Now you can say, see, I'm taking pretty moderately sized sections. They could be smaller, they could be larger. It's, you know, really up to you. So comb through it, make sure it's nice and smooth. Right, we split it in two. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna once again add this section into this side and we're gonna add this section here into this side. So we just continually keep adding the hair. We're right about behind the ear. That's the point where we're gonna start the pivot just to get the balance of the hairstyle just perfect. Okay, here's our section. We're gonna take the right side, add this section in, and we're gonna take the other side and we're gonna add the other section in. There we go. Comb them just to make sure they're nice and smooth and everything is working well. And now let's go ahead and tie them in a knot. So we're going from vertical sections to Diagonal sections now, we're in horizontal sections. Just split this in two and add the outside, grab this section of hair and add that section in. And here we have it. Now, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna tie this right in a knot. All right, now that we're finishing up down here, we've tied this in a knot. We're gonna take this section from the top and we're gonna just knot this up. Now you can see that we've got a lot of layers here and a lot of sections that just aren't working. I'm not even gonna worry about that. We can pin those in and fix those. All we're gonna do is tie knots here until we reach the very end. And we've just, you know, just run out of hair pretty much. Maybe one more knot. We're just gonna take an elastic. We're gonna put this elastic right at the ends and I'm gonna double this elastic up. And this time I'm just gonna capture those ends right through here. So I'm just gonna turn these upside down just like that so they don't show. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in and we're just going to soften this entire thing up and you can see we've got some beautiful knots going on. All right, I'm going to use my mirror. I need to tighten some things up, but I'm just going to roll this around using my mirror, making sure that everything looks pretty cool, pretty copacetic. So good so far. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to roll this up in the back and we're going to pin it with some jumbo pins. I'm going to find that little ponytail and put the pin right through it. And I always love the double pins. And we're just going to open these up and editorialize them just a little bit more. If you have little hairs that stick out that are bothering you, take a pin and just follow that hair around and just pin that in. A little bit of hairspray 
just so we lock in the look. And let's just take those little hairs and see if we can't make them behave. So spray really well. All right, so we finished the entire thing. Let's use the mirror to make sure everything is well in balance. I love this, very editorial. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. She's ready for a night out on the town or going to the park or whatever she wants to do. So this is it. Thank you for watching this episode of Style with Knowledge.